Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica and this is my Floss Tube video number 28. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Floss Tube is a cross stitch thing, um, or it can be like other other things like knitting or other stitching, fiber arts things, but for my channel it's mostly about cross stitch. Um, sometimes I talk about other things, life and stuff, but my videos tend to be pretty short. Um, anyway, today is Monday, August 24th. It's been about a month since my last video, and I'm going to, uh, I've got a bunch of things to show you that I've done in the past month, um, some major progress and a few new purchases. So let's get started. So my first project, the second I'm stitching for my son, this is, oops, this is called Super Mario by Chaco Coco Stitch on Etsy. I'll link everything below in the description box that you can still purchase, which is most of everything I'm doing. But so let's back up a bit so you can do tops and bottoms. So this is um, on 14 count touch of blue Ada. It's something I'm stitching for my son. Well, actually, I'm probably just going to put it in my kids' rooms because they both like Mario now. Um, they, yeah, this is, um, I obviously I finished. Mario's body, and I've started working on this guy. He's a piranha plant here. Um, got some of the white filled in too, and his lips. But so 14 count Ada. I already said that. Um, but yeah, this is this is a fun one. It's I, I tend to stitch this one as like a travel project when I'm waiting for my kids' lessons. Like uh, my one son does drums. And we can't go in the building right now due to COVID, so um, I have to sit in my car and just something. It's kind of nice to sit in my car and stitch. My other son does uh, karate, and his lessons tend to be outside. So I'll just bring like a camp chair and sit there and stitch it. And since it's Ada um, and large, I don't really need like magnifier or um, I do wear my reading glasses. But usually um, I can just stitch it in hand. Most everything else I like to use a um q snap or um, i have a, um, a quantum frame from the omnic factory so moving on so that one yeah i, I tend to have a little bit of progress every every time i do a video because um my kids lessons are just you know ongoing so my next project i'm going to actually insert a picture up here is the accolade um charted by heaven and earth designs it is um, obviously a full coverage piece. The artwork is done by um, Edmund Layton, and the person who charted it is uh, Michelle from Michelle Sayeta from Heaven and Earth Designs. Okay, so my uh, my frame, which was propped up against the couch, slipped down both the camera stand and had to pause it. But anyway, here, I'll turn the light on so you can see it better. Here's before and after. So I finished page six. Going across the top row here, and I'll zoom in a little bit or hold it up closer. So I'm doing this one over one on 28 count Jobelin. That's one strand of DMC floss over each little thread. So page six got a little bit more interesting. Um, so we're starting to get some of the sort of spectators. This is that's the top of a guy's head there on the bottom, and then over here you've got like a a pillar, I guess you could say. Um, next time I work on this, I'm going to try to finish out the row because there's only one more full page and then a partial page of like, I think 13 stitches wide. So it, I tend to do uh, cross country by page and I use pattern keeper, which makes things go really fast if you if you're stitching on a project that it can be supported by Pattern Keeper, I highly recommend giving it a try. I think there's a free trial. It works on Android only devices, but it's really cool. When I first tried stitching full coverage, I used like highlighters and paper and stuff. And it works, but it's slow. I feel like I'm making a lot less mistakes now too with Pattern Keeper. So my last work in progress. I have to decide a couple of finishes. Last work in progress is what my, what's currently on the frame, 
what I'm going to currently continue stitching is this. If you've been following me on Instagram, vdancer0304, I'll link it below. Um, you'll see I've been posting progress pictures of this, but this is Mermaids of the Deep Blue by Mirabilia. MD, what is it, 87 I think? 85, sorry. MD85. Um, it's really pretty. I've gotten to that point now, in my opinion, where I'm just kind of on the home stretch and that's all I want to stitch on. So let me do the side by side so you can see before and after. I'm not taking off the scroll frame, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But as you can see, last time I showed you this, the last time I worked on this, I got to the halfway point, which is here. And since then, the past couple of weeks, I've just been working on down. So um, I haven't hit quite hit the bottom yet, but um, I photocopy working copies and I've gotten to the bottom of my page <laughs> of this. So then I just have like the, the tails at the very bottom to do after this, but I've gotten the, the left mermaid done to that point, working on the right mermaid now. So um, there's a lot of crying in here. I'm not sure if you can tell just how much sparkle there is. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> and when I first looked at this, I thought the two mermaids were like identical, but they are not. So like, as you can see, there's like there's some like dithering in here. The, and then this had, there's like these shell, I don't know what you call scale shaped things. These are all going to be beads. I haven't done the beads yet or the treasures. So any holes, that's what those are. This mermaid has... It's kind of hard to tell, but all this lighter color in here is actually like every other stitch, then bead, then stitch, then bead. So they're they're very different. Both two mermaids. This one has like a fin or thing going down here, a dress. I don't know. This one just kind of has like a thing on the back of her. So all these little details you discover. Her their skin is two over one continental tent, which I think makes it look a lot smoother. Um, and I'll do, I'm imagining that's bright. <laughs> Next time I shoot a video, I'm aiming to be done with this, um, to, to have this completed. Cause like, like I said, when I get to like three quarters done, especially on something like a Mirabilia, I just like, okay, I can really see the finish line. I'm totally motivated to just get it done. And that's where I'm at right now with this. So I'm going to continue stitching on that. Um, I'll get into plans later, but yeah. So the next thing I have to show you is a finish compared to last time anyway. So this one I was working on last time. Oops, make sure I got the right one. And this is 12 Days of Christmas by Teresa Lensler. Um, I I, I don't want to put a picture up because I have in the past and it's just there the pictures that I have are kind of grainy so when I start working on the next one I will show you what that's going to look like kind of in a blurry fashion but here let's do side by side so obviously it's a finish do do this is the second day of Christmas a turtle dove so it's two turtle doves right but in the the um these pictures it's it's just one but so yeah, finished finished it out. Very fun 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 thing to stitch, I think. Lots of confetti, so and it's all one over one in the middle, but I think it's really pretty. And then I'll DMC. There are some beads in the corners of the frames, the the the, the border, sorry. The borders are all the same except for the number, right? It just changes from first to second to third, etc. And there's 12 of these. So I'm stitching this on 28 count Monaco. Um, I I finished day one already. I'll hold up here briefly, but here's day one and day two. Um, I plan to finish them all the same and together. So I've got you know 10 more to go. <laughs> it's kind of a finish, kind of a milestone more than finish. So the next I have are two FFOs, fully finished objects, meaning they're not just on the fabric, but they're into something that's usable, either something you can hang on the wall or set on a counter, or I mean, something you can use, right? Or, or used to put in a place, it's done. Um, and these were things that I showed as finishes and starts last month, so no surprises probably here, but these are my kids' pieces. 
um, which they were they were excited about. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about these one by one. So start with this one. I'm gonna put the links below. These I, I bought these on Etsy. Um, this is Darth Vader choking hazard, trying not to get the glare. Um, I finished this by um, lacing it on the back over a piece of map board and then just putting it in a regular picture frame. I was able to keep the glass on. Sometimes in the past, I when I do a picture frame, I have to take the glass out because there's just not enough, you know, thickness room because these are made for photographs. Um, <laughs> it's funny when I bought this because it had, you know how they put like a stock photo inside to like show what the frame could look like. I had this like beautiful wedding picture and here I'm sticking Darth Vader in it. <laughs> but my son thinks it's really funny, so that one. And then this one was interesting. Um, so this is um, a Hillian Shield. If you guys play Zelda or have played Zelda, which my son, my kid, both my kids like the Zelda games. They like the Mario games. They like all that stuff. Um, this is, oh, I should have said too. This is on a 18 count Silver Moon Ada. This is on 18 count Black Ada. Um, I finished this in a hoop. This hoop is kind of, if you notice, it's not like a typical hoop. It's kind of rubbery. It doesn't have a, um, a thing that you spin. It's just got a hook. It's made for um, completing objects. I got these on Amazon. I thought I'd try them, and I'm pretty happy with them. The only thing is, I feel like with a regular hoop, which I don't really use a whole lot, but with a regular hoop, I feel like I can kind of adjust it and then tighten it a little bit. This one you can't because it's just you just stretch it over the fabric. But once it, <laughs> it took a, a little while to get it right, it's probably still not perfect. Both of them aren't perfect because I did them myself, but I um, it just took a little while. But other than that, I think it's pretty neat because it looks a little bit, I mean, I, I think hoop finishes are still very nice looking, but this looks like a little bit nicer, something you can just hang it right on the wall. Um, I, I stitched some felt on the back. Um, I, I'll link the tutorial I used below for that. I usually don't like finishing things. My personal preference is to just give them to somebody else pay them to do it. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, I have a piece for my sister. I'm still waiting, unfortunately, for it to be framed. Her birthday was last Friday, so it's already late and I haven't even gotten it back yet. But the framer said she should have it this week sometime, hopefully. So my sister's cool about it. I told her, I didn't tell her exactly what she's getting, but I told her I'm having something custom made for her. So she's she, she just turned, well, I won't tell her age, but she just had a big birthday. And I made a special piece for her, and I'm going to show it in my next video. So, um, next I have it, just two purchases, really. Usually I have a lot, but I joined Stitch from Stash, Stitch from Stash on Facebook. And it's been really keeping my purchasing down, which is good and bad. I, I don't want, I feel like I still have that FOMO, right? Fear of missing out, right? Especially when, like, something goes out of print or there's something that's available and... And I actually did succumb, succumb to that one time this month. So, oh, there's one more purchase I have that I haven't shown yet. But I didn't bring up. Sorry. Okay, so scratch that. I have three things to show you. First is my fabric of the month from Color and Cotton. Unfortunately, it's closed right now. There might be a waitlist. This one actually has a name. Last month there wasn't a name. This is called Requiem. So I get the 28 count, or sorry, 32 count Lugana. Thinking about changing this to linen. It's kind of like a nice, nice gray color. Let's turn the light, see if that shows up any better. And open it up. Fat quarter. It's got some, some modeling on it. Probably, probably big enough for most of the mirrors. Mirabilia. One of my favorite designers are. Mirabilia, the other one is Teresa Wensa. So, as you'll see, with a lot of my stitching is one or the other. But the next thing that I purchased is um, Teresa Wensler's stuff is all, all out of print in paper form. Um, it, she does have some of her patterns listed on PatternsOnline.com, which is where I purchased the 12 Days of Christmas, and that is still available. I'll link it below if you're interested. Um, but all of her dragon pieces are out of print because of religious reasons from on her part, which is fine, but it stinks if you like her dragons like I do. But I purchased this on Facebook, Castles by the Sea, and it's got in here, this bottom part, a dragon. 
Um, so this person was selling them on Facebook who had apparently scheduled a class for this and never actually got to do the class. Um, she may still have some available. It, she was selling them in the Teresa Wensler Facebook group. I'll link that group below. So if you're interested in purchasing this, she was selling them for a reasonable price and she had like a lot of them, like I said. Um, you may want to check it out. Um, this is a smaller piece from Teresa Wensler. So she has she has some sizable ones in terms of complexity. Not necessarily big, big, like, you know, some of the reproduction samplers or even samplers in general can be like, you know, 400 by 500 or something stitches. This one is, and I looked at it before, one second. It's, this wasn't like outrageous, I think. Of course, I'm not seeing it. But. One second. I'll, I'll look at the, take it out of the baggie. <laughs> but yeah, most of Teresa Wensler Dragon pieces are outrageously expensive on eBay, unfortunately, because of limitations. You can only buy them in paper form. Mm -mm. One, 110 by 76. That's pretty tiny. So 110 by 76 stitches. I don't know if there are any over one portions. Let me the chart. Nope. No, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. So it's um, pretty simple design does have some specialty stitches, so like all around the edges here, there's like some shell stitches, some satin stitches, and eyelets and stuff. Which I like doing, those are fun. Um, and my final purchase is something I, I think I may have talked about. So that I counted against my stitch from Stash, and it was so reasonably priced that I jumped on it. Um, this one I'm not, because I purchased it back in March, um, and it took four months, a little over four months to get to me. Um, but this is Southern Social by Dimensions Gold Collection. Um, I'm in a little bit here. So this is, I think it's really pretty. I, I look at it now and in, in this day and age and think, oh wow, that's probably, you know, a house that was built by slaves. And um, sadly, and it's all a bunch of white people having a big old party. But it's pretty. If you've ever been to like a plantation to tour it in southern United States, very pretty. And with like the Spanish moss up here and everything. And I like the fact that the design is an oval shape, which I think will make the finishing pretty, like how they have it framed here. So this is a design that is out of print, I guess you could say, in the United States, but they are reprinting them in Russia. Um, so a lot of, for some reason, Dimensions has done this lately. And you can buy them if you order from Russia, but they're not printing them for the United States. They're, the kit is made in China, as you can tell. So you can tell if the Dimensions kit's made in China or the United States by if they have this like organizer card in the back. They're made in China. And if they have like the lump of threads all together and you have to sort them, it's made in the United States. Um, if, you, if you watch people who do a lot of Dimensions kits on floss tube, You'll see the pros and cons to them. Um, but anyway, for some reason, Dimensions makes it still a lot of kits that they will sell in the United States. But for some reason, they're, they're bringing some of them back and selling them to Russia again. So the person I bought this from on eBay was great about it getting stuck in Russia. It was due to COVID. Like they were just shipping containers, I think. And I think it's still a problem, too. They're still getting through them because they stopped getting all the people and sorting through the shipping containers. So I think this thing sat there for like four months. But the person I bought it from also sent a postcard from St. Petersburg. It's kind of cool. And a nice little note on the back. He sent a skein of floss, which I think this is CXC. I've never used CXC before, um, which I think is like just kind of a off-brand of DMC, but whatever. And this is the, the pack package that came in. Look at all those stamps. I thought that was cool. I just thought I wanted to show you guys. Um, I should probably try to blur out my address if I showed that. <laughs> oh, well, I don't care. Um, that's all I have this probably month. Um, 
it's early in the morning on it's a Monday. I have to work today. So I'm going to try to get this up today. Um, I may not. Depends if I have a chance to get to the computer and edit it. Because, of course, there were some gaps, right? Like, So we won't go into that. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and each other. Um, I hope you're all thinking critically, especially in this day and age with all these issues going on, right? California's on fire. There's two hurricanes in the Gulf, in the Gulf of Mexico headed towards the Gulf Coast of the United States. Um, we still have this virus we're dealing with. We still have lots of racism going on. Um, so everyone just try to be your best, do your best. And if you're an American citizen over the age of 18, please vote. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.